Hello everyone, we will continue the topic enhancements and modifications and in the previous video we write the logic, we have written the logic into this particular user exit and how we have written the logic by taking help of implicit enhancements. But in the projects, yes, you can take the access key this program will open in the change mode and you can write the logic. But this is other alternative you can practice in the same way. So no one can stop you from the practice perspective. Now, what we will do now, we it's a turn that I will simply, simply put the breakpoint and we will cover all the three scenarios. We will go for create will go for change and then we will cover delete also and we will see is the customer requirement fulfilled or not and we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode if there is something which is not clear so in this video and that will be automatically clear i will put a break point and we will firstly start with va01 by which we can create a sales order. We will go to VA01. We'll give some order type. I will give some sold to party. Suppose we will go for M01, M02. For, suppose for the first material, we are putting the quantity less than 100. For the second material, we are putting the quantity greater than 100. We'll suppose 110. Confirmed. I will go for save and we are creating the sales order. I will go for save. XVBAP. XVBAP has all the new data. XVBAP has the new data. We will simply go to that particular implementation which we have written. We will go to that implementation. This is our implementation. Now we are putting a loop onto this internal table. So loop will come for the first record. Loop will come for the first record. I'll just do F6. Now I am on loop statement. We are making a loop on the internal table and update indicator should not be equal to D. We are creating a new sales order and just see the value of update indicator is I. I if you see the value of update indicator is I. I means it is not equal to D. It means this condition is true. This condition is true. We are going inside the loop. So first record from the internal table will go to this work area. Will go to this work area. And you can see what is the quantity. What is the quantity for the first record 80. It will simply see what is the work area quantity. Work area quantity is 80. Is 80 less than 100? Yes, 80 is less than 100. So it will simply give the information message. Just see, we are getting a message. Quantity, order quantity cannot be less than 100. Okay. We are setting this flag to capital X. And now you can see the importance of exit. If we will not put exit, it will go to second line item also. But if there is a problem at the first line itself, there is no need to go for rest of the item. So it's a way to improve the performance. Now it will simply exit from the loop. And you can see it exit from the loop. Is the flag is capital X? Yes, the flag is capital X. So the control will remain on to same to same screen. And you can see we are on to same to same screen. Now, 
Suppose I'm just going for the quantity. We are correcting the quantity now. Suppose I'm putting 120. We'll go for OK. Now, the, again, I will reach up to that particular loop. Now, we will go inside the loop. Now, you can see this internal table has two records. What is the order quantity for the first 120? Order quantity for the second is 110. So, first record will come inside the loop. So, what is the quantity for the first record? 120 is less than 100? No. So, this condition is false. Now, loop will go for second record. What is the quantity for the second record? 110. Is 110 is less than 100? No. So, simply, simply. Now, this flag does not set. If this flag does not set, it will not remain. This particular logic will not execute. If I will go for F8, you can see we are able to create this sales order. It means while creating the sales order, we are able to fulfill the customer requirement. Now we will go for change mode also because it might be the case we will decrease the quantity in the change mode. So we have to cover that part also. So I will go to change. Will change the sales order. Now you can see as of now order quantity is 120 and 110. Suppose while changing, I change the quantity of second item to 90. Suppose and suppose for the first line item, suppose 80. We are making less than 100. You can go for any one line item also. It's your wish. We'll go for save. We'll confirm. We will confirm. Now, if I will show you XVBAP internal table, XVBAP internal table, just see the value of update indicator is U now. U, the value of update indicator is U because we updated the quantity. Now, whenever this loop will continue, is u is not equal to d yes it means if our where condition is true so this loop will continue so for the first record but the quantity we make we make it 80 80 is less than 100 yes so it will simply simply give the message yes we are getting the message so it will set the flag and it will exit from the loop now, there is no need to check the second item because first item itself has a problem. Now, the control will remain on to the same to same screen because flag set to X. Now, we are on same screen. So, I will increase the quantity. Suppose I will make it as 110. But suppose I am not changing the quantity for second item. Still, we will get a message. Suppose if I will go for save, you can see now we change the quantity. We change the quantity. So for the first line item, we do not have any problem at all. If we will go for the first line item, we do not have any problem because 110 is there. Now it will go for second line item. Just see second line item 90. 90 is less than 100? Yes. So 90 is less than 100. It is giving the message. And we will simply, simply exit from the loop. This flag set to capital X and the control will remain on the same screen. Now we will correct this also. We will make it 120, suppose. Now if I will save, now I will confirm. And you can see there is no error. There is no error. Everything is correct. So our logic worked for insert whenever we are creating a sales order and whenever we are changing the quantity of the sales order. Now, third most important scenario. If customer is deleting a line item, 
in that case our logic should not trigger because if if customer is deleting a line item it means it should not get a error that go for the quantity less than 100 customer will say oh i am deleting why i am getting this particular message that's why we simply simply put the logic change indicator update indicator should not be equal to d suppose i am deleting this line item will go for save now if i will show you xvbap you can see in xvbap the second second line item is d second line item is d for the second line item the update indicator is d so it will firstly go to first line item for the first line item quantity is 110 okay it's okay 110 is less than 100 no so this flag does not set now just see loop will come for the second record but based upon this condition based upon this loop will not even consider the second record and this is what we want whenever we are deleting it should not consider that particular record for this particular logic this logic should not consider for that now you can see it did not happen now if we will go for execute you can see that particular line item deleted so we verified each and everything that whatever the logic we have written is extremely extremely working fine now the next most important part in this all enhancements and modification we are always doing one thing whenever you will practice always always undo the things because anyone should not hamper because of your changes so what we will do i will simply simply go for this enhancement i will simply right click and we will go for enhancement operation and undo implementation now you can see there is no logic which we have written and i will show you the practical also for the same now our logic will not stop anyone based upon our logic now customer cannot create a sales order where the order quantity is less than 100 now we remove the logic and now everything will work as usual if I will go to VA01, if I will go for enter, now system will not stop. And this is how you have to practice. After practice, please, please undo all the things. Because anyone should not hamper because of your changes. Suppose if I am putting order quantity 10 and order quantity 20, if I will go for save, now you can see system is behaving as usual which it was behaving previously we are able to create a sales order having order quantity less than 100 so it is a very important series for the user exit we covered what is user exit how to find a user exit how to implement a user exit and yes user exit is a modification because you will directly write the logic into sap programs itself so that's it in this video thank you